Greetings, and welcome to the Trovian Showcase. I am Insipid Von Moneycurrency, your host. Herein, we see the Neon City. Its water is composed of suck, its buildings are composed of shiny. Herein, we see yet again the Christmas tree uh, events, wherein we are able to drop on by, kill a bunch of things, and make them all very sad. Um, I, I will express an amount of frustration in that um, the, the showcase has allowed itself to uh, show off these Christmas trees a number of times now in a number of places. However, um, as a matter of showcasing the event itself, worthwhile. What do we have popping out here? More of the snowmen. I am full of shock. Goodness gracious me. How could it be so? It is so. It is so in this fashion. Um, their pervasiveness. Are you... Did you literally spawn inside a... You unfortunate little bastard. I'm glad you died. Items for the club. Inventory is full. Son of a bitch. Do me a favor. Like and subscribe. Ah, here we go. Right here. This is a fairly uh, genuine expression of what the uh, Neon City can be. It's shiny, it's full of glowiness. Oh, very nice. Look at this. Marvelous. I've always enjoyed the aesthetic of uh, the Neon City. Very reminiscent of Tron. The entire, the entire movie, the, the motifs in general. A computer-based um, world. Uh, one might speculate that the, the blue rivers are battery acid or something of the like. Uh, everything is composed of transistors and capacitors. It's the, the little structures that are here and there. Even the, uh, the creatures I believe that we are going to meet are very much uh, based on uh, computer-related uh, or based creatures. See? He's firing lasers! Lasers is what he's firing! Color palette obviously based on um, the world around them. I would love to see, potentially, uh, any Tron-based enemies. Now, going too far, they might, uh, they might stumble upon some kind of copyright problems. However, dead. Because I had company. Good. Never ever wanted to do that alone. I've never been one for office work. But you're about to see me work inside a cubicle. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Yes, well, either way, let's get in there and blow it up. Just going to hop a do like so. And then hop a do right up here. I am sure. I am positively positive. Now, there's a way that I could run around the facility, find a portal of some kind, and just very, very kindly just show up and do things in the manner that they would like me to do it. But, damn it, wouldn't that just be frustrating? So, we're, we'll, we'll investigate that in a moment. But first things first, we have um, Super Punch Bot. Indicating, first and foremost, that this is a robot. Lovely. More robots, more computers. All of this, again, being based on computers and technology and other such fun things. Now, as to why, it would also include a mushroom spawner? Now, oh, they've spawned many things. But, um, for the area, I would think it much more logical for them to have spawned, say, perhaps, a robot mushroom. Wouldn't you? Don't you think? And how precisely did you want us to get here? Right there. See, that is the portal. They wanted us to go through that portal and then fall. Fall into a fight? That hardly seems that hardly seems fair in terms of fight type situations. Here's where they wanted us to end up. Here's where they wanted us to be to get to where they were going. Right. You stop it. Stop that right there. It seems we have some panels, some jumping capacities. Goodness gracious, if you did not have a good amount of jump as part of your equipment and or skill abilities, this would be a terrible place to try and um, enter under standard uh, intended means. You, sir, I bet you have a punch ability where you could push someone off the edge and they have to go all through this again and just not nice. Not you, get out. Get not nice. None of it. Very upset with you, game. Very upset with you. Yes, I understand. You might be based on Tron, which makes me very much inclined to enjoy it a lot. 
just more more bridges bridges between towers very nice uh, but uh, engaging in level design that is designed therein to piss us off I do not think that is bully that is not bully it is the antithetical antithetical the bully Hello. I would be amused by the window symbol. Very pertinent in the region. However, more so, I love, absolutely adore, that they have included an arcade cabinet. Look at it. Look at it with your eyes. This is absolutely marvelous, and the humor behind it, spectacular. Could not be more pleased. Kudos and hats off. As ever and always. Now, this doesn't actually appear to be anything. This is just a big empty empty space. So what we're going to do instead is hop around this way and just take a moment to engage in a quick little dynamic entry on this side. There. Ta-da. Again, not much actually present. Where does this place want me to go? Oh, there appears to be an upward mobility situation right there. But again, where where does it want me to go? Where does it want me to do the thing? It's right here, yes. It goes up here, very nice. There was a portal. How did I miss this? I could have very easily have gotten in here. Attended to business. You and your fucking lasers. I see how it is. Are you... Are you shooting ice at the ground? That's marvelous! I am enjoying that significantly. By what means is that happening? It appears that it's coming down from above... I'm not sure by, by what means you're calling down these strikes, but I love them. That said, however, uh, I am obliged to murder you a lot. Let's get on out of here. There, there doesn't seem to be as much um, depth of story as what we encountered with um, the Desert Frontier. Desert Frontier, there was the possibility that there had been a literal robot uprising, and what we were witnessing was the, the culmination of that uprising. That there were almost no humans left to be seen, and that um, it was replaced by robots fulfilling those roles. In this case, it would appear almost uh, that there was specifically a robot community in the first place, uh, and these are merely emulations of human activities, wherein they observed, perhaps, our fascination with arcade cabinets, the amount of time we invested, the emotion we invested into their presence, and so built them as uh, buildings or even shrines, which uh, as a speculation is fascinating but has still very little basis in the reality of the matter. Now, as ever, there are these fellows here who show up and, and beat you about a bit, and of places that they have shown up, they look most appropriate here. Uh, for their, their design, their color palette, all of the above, they, they appear most pertinent in this location, which may allow for a moment of speculation to suggest that if there were a way that they could be launched from this site to other biomes, it would be very fascinating. All that said, speculation is what it is, and they are not the talkative sort. This has been Insipid Von Money Currency, and you have been watching the Trovian Showcase. Please join us next week for the next installment of Anthropological Science.